you that person who decided to buy a trio of rabbits, immediately breed them, and then realize later that you have no idea how to evaluate the babies? Well, in this video, I'll be going over my silver fox litter and will be deciding who to cull and who to keep. Follow along, grab your standard of perfection, and turn to page 232. Before we go over this litter, let's look over the standard of perfection so we know what we're looking for when we're evaluating these rabbits. The points are broken down by 45 points for general type, 38 for body, 5 for head and ears, 2 for feet and legs, 20 points for fur. Silver foxes are the only breed of rabbits whose fur stands straight up, so that's what we're going to be looking for. Color is 10 points, silvering is 20 points, condition is 5 for a total of 100 points. According to the standard of perfection, we're looking for a medium length body. Body with fill with well-filled shoulders rib section and hindquarters it should be a gradual rise curving slightly there are faults for narrow body dewlap and bucks shoulders wider than hindquarters and cut severely for flatness over the shoulders back and hindquarters the head is to be well formed and full to balance with the body and be set close to the body eyes are to be uh, clear, bold, and bright. You want that with any animal that you have. For the fur, we're looking for standing fur, which is that fur I was talking about earlier. The fur is to be dense, standing, and have luster. According to the standard of perfection, the ideal length is one and a half inches. Now that we've read up on the standard of perfection, we're going to grab our rabbits and get started. First off for the does is this black doe. We have been working on handling but they still like to push back. You're just gonna wanna be calm and patient, understand that they can feel your stress, so you're gonna want to stay as chill as possible. So I feel like her feet are a little bit forward. Maybe we should switch her around. And when you're practicing posing your rabbits, you should really be doing it both ways as I've seen lots of judges do it in many different ways. Oh, man. <laughs> Good girl. It's okay. You're gonna want feet underneath the eyes. underneath the eyes. So for this doe, fur is nice. It's got a lot of density. Her silvering, she's got lots of spots where her silvering is about double the amount some other spaces, but it looks at like this back end has a little bit better silvering, but it could also be these lights that I'm dealing with. Oh yeah, she's got extra silvering right here. It's a little bit less silver through here. She's got quite a bit of silvering on her ears, not as much on her face. She's still got baby fur. For a second earlier, she looked really good. These shoulders. Oh no. Right here, she looks good. From right here, she looks good. She could use a little bit more in the loin. But when I turn her this way, sometimes they're a different animal when you turn, turn them around. This way, even though she's stop pushing. Can you put your feet underneath your face? I wish she would cooperate a little bit better. If we could just get a moment where she's not pushing in some way.
but on one side she looks like she's shorter in the shoulder so I don't know if it's just because she's pushing back with her front feet but I will probably keep her for now for six months see how she develops then and then we'll decide what we'll do with her from there so for this doe we're going to keep her so we are going to mark her in her ear We are going to mark her in her right ear with a black line. Next up for Junior Doe's, we have this chocolate. Yeah, all right. We are going to try and pose her. Her chocolate is quite a bit lighter to start off with. I am looking for a deep chocolate. We don't want any of this milk chocolate. Is this what this would be? But it's very light, and I'm looking for that Havana-rich darkness. Get your feet. Stop moving. To start off, she'll stop. Moving. To start off, she kind of looks like she's got the mandolin type shoulders. She really like how she kind of continues up here, but this shoulder is just a mess and I don't want to deal with bad shoulders because I'm having a hard time getting rid of it already. Density is less than the last rabbit. For me, right now, I believe she'll be a cold. And then we have our last junior doe. She is also a chocolate. She is, I wanna say just a shade darker than the previous doe. She's still got some baby hair in here. My, aunt, my, first, my biggest concern with this doe is going to be her silvering. Her silvering is really heavy to begin with. I like how she is over these hind quarters down at the table. I like that her shoulders are actually compact and close to the body or the neck. Oof, guess I need to read the <laughs> standard again. To me, her shoulders are a lot better than her previous sister's. I believe that she can fill out a little bit more over this top end. Again, I wish she was darker. I wish she was about the color of not just the tip of her nose, but just after. This chocolate that she's got on her forehead here is a lot better than what we have over the body. And if this molds out to that darker color, I believe she could be a real contender. So this dough will also be a keep and she will be part of my show string come May. Now we're halfway through the litter and we're gonna start with the boys. The boys are a little bit more outgoing when it comes to the table. They've definitely got the attitude and hopefully, they're okay. Just make sure you have a good grip on them because you definitely don't want them flying off the table. Okay, bud. Ooh, ho ho ho. We got a biter. Now, to me, this is the definition of really bad shoulders. If we could get him to relax just a teensy bit probably won't happen because he bit me. This guy looks like I can put my entire hand width of his shoulders. Here is the base of his head and where my ring finger is is where his shoulders start. Also really light in color, same as his sister, 
as the opportunity for a really dark color. And this buck is going to be a cold due to his shoulders, his attitude. Just grabbing this buckling, his coat feels very nice. It's just got that slight coarse texture. I feel like he could stand just a little bit better, but let's get him posed and see what he looks like. Okay. He looks like he's also gonna have a shoulder problem like his brother. Can I please have your feet in the correct spot? Very easy. So again, this is the base of the head into the neck. It is again my ring finger right under my ring finger when the shoulders start. I really like to see one, maybe one and a half at max before we see that rise. The rise needs to be continuous. This looks more like a mandolin. It's gonna be some nice round booty, but it's just not competitive to what we're gonna be seeing on the tables. So this rabbit is going to be a cull. All right, so last buck of this litter. It's already kind of got an attitude. Hopefully we don't. I'm gonna go the other way, will that be better? I'm not pinning the rabbit to the table. I'm just trying to cover his eyes so he can try and stay calm and relaxed. So what I see here is he looks pinched in the hind quarters. His shoulders are long, again, looks like the mandolin. His silvering, it has a lot in this back corner here. Density is okay, I wouldn't give him something special for that. But again, all of these babies have baby coat. This is all gonna get molted out and then we're gonna see the true adult coat around that <sighs> rabbit hair, five to six months. So the verdict for this buck will be a cult. Comment down below names that start with A to name these two girls as they join our show team. And on our next live stream, we will be doing a ceremony naming these guys into the club. Make sure you get your votes in for names by March 31st, as our live stream will be on April 1st at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you're watching after that date, I will add the video here.